Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wasn't planning on making another video, but I wanted to bring something to you. I found this in my feed on Signal from Grafted In Team Jesus, and it's an uh, article with a video within it called from the Hal Turner Radio Show. As you see here, I'm going to read this to you and let you watch this little, um, what would you call it, uh, scientists put it together to show you what it would be like if it was this high and how far inland it would go if they were this high and how far inland it would go if they were this high okay you get the point a very significant earthquake swarm is taking place on an island off the west coast of africa this particular situation has been feared for decades because it could literally wipe out the entire u.s east coast and by the way my computer is doing something very weird it's acting up and i'm having to use this external mouse to be able to use it i wiped off my you know how you got a little mouse pad built into the front of a laptop Okay, well, I cried on it as uh, I have crying spells now and then while I'm trying to come off of Effexor, and it just happens, okay? And I was wiping it off, and all of a sudden, um, the video I was watching took up more than the space of the, the screen, and I was seeing a little bit of it. In, in a big size and I couldn't get it to downsize so I, I finally managed I got this thing out and uh, managed to uh, get, get rid of that and get out completely and get back into signal and pull this up so if I don't touch this mouse maybe we can get through it all right and this has a roller on it that I can use now how did that happen I didn't stop screening and I didn't tell you to do that but I did left click it. So I, I say, I don't know. Let's just try to read it. This is a, very interesting. Flash traffic report eruption in progress. Lava breached surface. Fires starting 1056 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, I'm burning up now. This was at 957 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Sunday. One okay now Sunday 1 35 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now this is an update. 5 16 p.m. Oh, that was Saturday. Okay. The island of La Palma is part of the Canary Islands off the southwest coast of Africa. The scalable Google map below shows its location. Well, you're seeing the ocean. I'm afraid to do much here. Okay, let me try to pull it down. All right, that's from Google Map. That shows the Palma. That's how small the island is. You think you, you can't tell the size of it. But let me just continue. The island was formed by eruptions from the Cumbrae Vahija. Vahija. <laughs> Go listen to Lewis on uh, that video he posted. He's what is this called? The Grand Supreme News. Okay, he knows how to pronounce it. La Palma earned the nickname, quote, the beautiful island, unquote. White sand beaches highlighted by black volcanic soil. An endless night sky filled with stars as far as the eye can see. I'm sure there is. There's probably no industry on that island. But beauty here is only skin deep. Nestled in the western side of La Palma sits the Cumbrae Vahia volcano like a pot of water waiting to boil, boil over. Its last big eruption was more than 50 years ago, but everyone knows it's only a matter of time before it unleashes the beast inside. Over decades, the entire southwest third of the island has become eroded and unstable from volcanic eruptions. All right, we already know it's erupting, all right? Uh, it says it starts with tremors exactly like what we're seeing right now. That's what it was doing yesterday uh, So I'm not sure how old this part of it is It says glasses rattle on kitchen tables while picture frames skew left and right tourists to La Palma rush it off calling it jelly feeling sea legs They are after all on an island But the locals know better and they hold their breath when it does happen, the ash and lava spill out of the volcano's mouth like a giant sigh. No one could have predicted what happens next. 
The western side of the volcano cracks up and splits and the steam builds up inside and pushes against the volcano's walls. The pressure is too much. The entire western flank breaks off. Now this is what they're saying is going to happen. The Atlantic Ocean eagerly swallowing every rock, stone, and pebble as they free fall. Oh, come on. Oh, don't mess up. Where you, what are you doing? I didn't do that. Come on now. Oh, my gosh. Okay. The Atlantic Ocean eagerly swallowing every rock, stone, and pebble as they free fall into its deep blue depths. He's quite a writer. The earth rumbles and the water begins to slosh around as its calm ebb and flow turns into a frenzied splashing and crashing. The waves grow and they grow and they grow. To the naked eye, it looks like the heavens unleashed a curtain made of water. Somehow the volcano's landslide has produced a tsunami that reaches the sky. All 3,000 feet of water roars as it barrels away from La Palma's coast toward the United States. As the most western island of the Canary Islands, La Palma sits eight hours away from the eastern U.S. shore by plane. It's the one piece of good news. Residents have a window of time to evacuate. But chaos breeds chaos, and soon the highways are clogged with cars, frightened families from Boston to Miami, trying to flee inland. A final silver lining. The wave decreases as it sojourns across the Atlantic from a staggering 3,000 to a mere 160 feet. 160 feet. Still. As that wave travels from Africa to the west, it could move about as fast as a jet airliner, about 500 miles per hour. About eight hours later, that wave would reach the new North American coastline and begin to pile up on top of itself, creating upwards of 120 foot tall wave wall of water smashing into the entire east coast. Okay, so now it's gone down from 3,000 feet high to only 120 feet tall. That's 12 stories. How high are those hotels on the, on the coast? Three, four, six stories? They'll be covered. And it continues in, inland. All the major cities would be wiped out. Boston, New York, Baltimore. Washington, D.C., Norfolk, Virginia, Charleston, South Carolina, Jacksonville, Florida, Miami would all be inundated with a giant wall of water. Most buildings within 10 miles of the coast would be physically knocked down by the wave. Almost nothing would survive. Story continues beneath the ad. Okay, they took the ad out of this. Now one might think, we'll have eight hours warning. Do you have any idea at all how long it would take to completely evacuate cities like Boston, New York, or Miami? And Miami is of particular concern because there, there, there may not be anywhere to go for anyone in Florida. If you don't get going now just for just in case, you aren't, you're not going to make it out of there if this happens like... I mean, I don't know. Who has the money? Who has the money to say, Boss, I'm taking off. I'm going to go to Indiana and camp out for a while. See what happens with this tsunami coming. Can you take off work and go do that? Or are you going to sit there and hope it doesn't come? I'd be praying if I were you and listen for the Lord's still small voice to tell you what to do. When you get a thought that you know is not your own, you better follow it. Alright, most of Florida is only about four feet above sea level. That's why it's going to be underwater. The tsunami, 30 meters or 100 feet tall, wave from La Palma might very well wash over the entire land mass of the state. That's why even western Florida 
needs to get the heck out of there. As soon as you hear, I mean, it's going off. I know they're wait, it, the, the land mass hasn't fallen into the water yet. The buoy system is down. The buoys tell you about the tsunami warnings. Unless they're back up, and I haven't yet found a video that says they are. Please, somebody, if you know, put it in the comments. Are the buoys back up? The tsunami warning buoy system. Okay, we got a link now. They, they were having computer issues. Had to fix it. I'm going to finish here. Most of, okay. The elevation of Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C. is 79 feet. In fact, scientists say the area impacted by any such tsunami contains 29% of the U.S. population. The area impacted by any such tsunami contains 29% of the U.S. population. And they estimate 65 million dead. Is this maybe what all the body cadaver bags were for that the man showed us in the FedEx building? That was three videos ago. There are plenty documentaries on YouTubes about this. It says tubes, but I think you must mean YouTube videos about this. Worst case says up to 250 miles inland using rivers, using rivers, period. 100 feet high, travel a few hundred miles per hour, seven to eight hours to reach New York City. Long Island would go underwater for a time, so would Florida. A few dozen nuclear reactors would be Fukushima or worse. Hudson River would flood all the way to Albany. Ooh, that's where Marty is, Albany Ned. Could be one large large one or several smaller ones. Now he's given another scenario here. Or we could see a little ripple at the docks. Okay? Remember the prophecies. Just keep your tank filled with gas. Download some tsunami alert app or something. Okay. Oh, then there is this. Revelation 8.8 8. And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. Translation. A volcano erupted, then busted up with a large portion falling into the sea, killing a third of all the coasts. Coastal inhabitants of that sea no doesn't say which sea the third angel sounded the trumpet that's the trumpet judgment the wave touches down flowing onto beaches and flooding bays coastal buildings don't stand a chance water rushes inland 10 to 40 miles along the eastern seaboard homes are destroyed countless hotels crumble under the force chemical plants that once churned out product by the ocean side spill their toxic waste into the sea here is an animation for land inundation from new york city to boston based on land elevation all right now i'm going to pause this here you watch this for a minute because it loops around it, it it shows you over and over if the wave is 75 feet or less this is how far inland it would be 150 feet or less watch the purple notice over here to the left where it's coming up a river where would that be this is pennsylvania it looks like to me does it go all the way to the water probably not completely drawn in but that means it's going up the Gulf of Mexico and coming up the New Madrid uh, the Hudson well no that's not the Hudson River that's the Mississippi River you see how it's turned up in purple 
I think that's what that is. You correct me if you think it's a different river. Okay? All right. Because here's, let's drop down. Okay, we see where. All right, this has got the Hudson River. I got it. This is still up near New York. Yeah. This is New York, Long Island. That must be the Hudson River going up. What's this piece of land that's coming out into the water? It looks like an alligator. This is modernsurvivalblog.com if you want to go there. Beaches up and down the coast account for billions of dollars in tourism revenue each summer. It looks like vacationers might not be able to return for decades thanks to the amount of oils and solvents released. On top of that, the East Coast is home to 29% of the U.S. population. Now they are displaced. Their homes destroyed. Their cities flooded. Not everyone made it out in time. It's not the end of the world, but it very much looks like it. Okay, I'm going to stop here because Hal Turner doesn't really understand the end times exactly like he should. But, you know, he showed you Revelation 8.8. 8. That was good. He knows a lot of it. He understands this is an end times kind of thing. I'll leave it go with that. Look. Just click on the link. You can drop down to where I quit. Past that little map that shows the water coming in. And finish reading it for yourself. But, um. Well, see, look what I did. I just, by touching this mouse. Oh, my goodness, Lord. I don't know what I'm, I did to my, I don't, I don't see how I, how I did this. By wiping off my tears from this little mouse pad, I ruined my computer. I ruined my computer. You think I did that? Did I do this? Okay, I have to try to go and get try this mouse to go to OBS and stop recording. All right, I'll talk to you later. There's peace with Jesus. If you know Jesus, you'll have peace. If you don't know Jesus, I wouldn't want to be you. Why don't you make him your savior right now? Right now. I don't know where, where they'll cut this one off at. So I'll try to blab for a minute. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. La, 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 la. <laughs> so just like, they keep cutting them off. And I'm like, 